Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me. I'm back in Beira, back in West Cork, and I've come to a place that I've passed on the last couple of journeys when I came to West Cork, but the tides were wrong. And today now I'm right here exactly at the right time, which is for high tide. And you can see there behind me, you've got this beautiful uh, pier. So what I'm planning to do is to do some long exposure photography and really, really smooth out that water and go for a minimalist effect. It's bright at the moment, so I'm going to use a lot of uh, graduate, or sorry, a lot of ND filters. Um, and I'm going to get the photograph set up anyway here now, and I'll talk you through what I'm going to do, what type of photograph I'm going to take, and how I'm going to set the whole shot up in a moment. taking my first shot there now and I'm using two uh, filters. I'm using my ND1000 and I'm also using a 0.9 graduated ND filter. And the reason for the graduated is just take the brightness off because the sun is over here on the right hand side. And then with the ND1000, I can get up to a 30 second exposure. I've kept my ISO actually at 50 to give me as a uh, least chance of blowing any highlights because it is quite bright anyway here. And the first shot that I've taken is quite far back along this pier. And you've got on the right hand side here, some seaweed that's coming in. And I don't know if it's going to be nice or not within the shot, but it's the first one here that I've got and bang on the time for, ha for high tide. So I'm going to show you this one now. I'm going to go further on out the pier now, uh, try and remove this distraction and try and get a bit of the rock that I can see here and then change my composition as well slightly. But yeah, for the first shot anyway, quite interesting. And uh, yeah, I'll show you those and we'll move up the pier next. For the second shot now I've moved further on like I said and I've eliminated the distraction that was over on the right hand side which is all the seaweed that is congregating and there's also some rubbish and stuff like that as well so it's not very nice it's quite unsightly so by coming further on out I can remove like I say that distraction and then I've got this set of rocks that are on the right hand side here where there's water breaking onto them so I think that's going to be nice as well when we go at the long exposure shot I'm sticking with 30 seconds and at the moment I'm at f 13 and I'm still using the both of those ND filters as well. The sun has gone behind some clouds now so I'm not dealing with any harshness in the light but definitely a nice photograph. What I might try and do is stack a couple of filters and see how long of an exposure I can actually get. The longer I think the better because it'll smooth out the water even more so. Kind of make the water incidental and just purely focus on the static element which is the pier here. But for now what I'm going to do is continue further on out now just to go up to the curve that's here and I'll point back over in a different direction then and I'll see what kind of photograph then I can get at that point. For the next shot now I've come out more or less towards the end of the uh, straight line in the pier right as far as the curve and I'm looking over then at the bars that are at the very end for obviously boats that are people coming on and off the boats and now what it has done is completely changed the background because on these shots here originally I would have had the open sea whereas now I've got the land and on the land you've got an old castle ruin as well it's sitting proudly right on top of the hill and I think that will be a nice photograph. Also, it has revealed a couple of rocks that are on the other side of the pier here as well. So I'm getting movement in those, similar to what I would have gotten back where you are pretty much right now taking the last photograph. 
and again settings are at 30 seconds i'm at f13 and my iso is at 50 and it's producing some nice um e ethereal uh, effects within the image i also did a moment ago there is i set up a shot and i walked into the scene i sent a 30 second shot and then i stayed in the scene for around 20 seconds and then walked back out again and what that does is it gives you a kind of a ghosting effect of me so i will basically be at the end of the pier before it turns off to the left hand side and you'll be able to see through me as well within that image but yeah definitely a different type of shot anyway let me know what you think in the comments actually does it work does it not work let me know i'd be interested to hear more so yeah I'll take this one there now and then I'm probably going to go to the very very end and try and just go for an ultra minimal shot as well on that but yeah we'll see how these ones now turn out next. final part now of the pier and the flat light is actually really really helping here because it's giving me no highlights to be able to deal with but because I came to the very very end of the pier there's a rock that's just over here it's actually getting into the frame when I'm in landscape so I've moved the camera now into portrait orientation and I'm moving into that way I eliminate any distractions keep it as minimalist as I possibly can and I'm as close as I can be to these railings anyway that they're not going to be overtaking the entire frame still 30 seconds still f13 still iso 50 and it's definitely what did i get one two three four photographs now from the same subject but in different positions which will lead to a different uh, type of shot what i'm now going to do is go back upon myself and go back up to the roadway or the pathway really that i came down to reach this because i'll try and take a photograph of this with some rocks and a bigger wider scene as well within that so i'll show you this minute of shot here and then we'll head back in ourselves and i'll show you the last spot then that i'll take a shot from this location slight change of plan I've actually come over to the left hand side of the pier as you can see below me here there's some rocks and some rock pools and because the water is so calm I'm aiming to take a kind of a photograph with those within the photograph within the frame and I'm using my polarizer because I want to take away any sheen to be able to see down into the rock pool that's here and I've gone from a landscape orientation and getting quite a lot into the frame but I might do as well as just swap it over there now as well into a portrait and just come in closer to be able to capture uh, more of the rock pool that's below me here more so than anything else but for now anyway what I have on this again 30 seconds f13 ISO 50 so I haven't changed my settings at all because the light has been pretty much constant flat but different compositions will yield different results and I do like uh, this rock pool that's below me so I'm going to play around here now for a bit, bit further get that shot and then I'm going to go back up to the right of you to get the last photograph that I mentioned I was going to get a moment ago um, and then that will finish me up I think for here but yeah looking forward to see what I can get out of this actually so I'm going to go higher going to go lower try and play around with that rock pool like I said and see what types of shots I can get.
Final spot. Now, like I would have said, I've come back up here, so I'm looking right down onto this pier, and it does give me a nice difference in elevation. Um, same composition, really. The pier is leading in through the frame and leading out, going for a long exposure again. And, you know, definitely interesting to come higher and give a higher viewpoint. One thing I don't like is that there's a lot of that seaweed, like I would have said in the first photograph, that's within the photograph now again. So I kind of have to contend with that, really. I can't get rid of that, but I do think it's a nice uh, shot. I'm going to finish up on this one. I'm going to take one more, which is pretty much the composition that you are, because I like the uh, weeds or the flowers that are in the base of the frame there as well. So I'll take that shot now as well uh, with my camera. And I finish up this episode. Thank you very, very much as always for joining. If it's your first time on the channel, please consider subscribing, give me a like, give me a comment, and until the next time, schlange fall.